bunch of jerks. <laughs> Using too much force. It's like, hello, officer. Bam. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> it's just how they say hello in space. <laughs> Rust is one, shield generator two, beam laser is four, kill one is down, five, cargo hatch off, power to one, life support. What actually happens when, like, what does life support, how does it work? I don't understand. I'm, like, I'm, I'm just guessing here, John. If it's powered I off. I think that if it's off, it doesn't hurt you unless you lose containment of your atmosphere. I think. Best leave it on. Don't need it off. Docking computer, that's fine. Pulse laser, yes, yes. Finish the eating. Finish putting Chinese shit on our ship. Explosions are pretty satisfying. Yeah. I don't really see any purpose to the high or to the wake scanner right now. Because, what's the chance that, I mean, there's not even 100% chance that you'll end up in the in the same instance, right? Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't use it really, I've just checked. Maybe you will, I'm not sure. I mean, if it did pop you into the same instance as the guy popped away, then that would be worth it. Yeah. If it doesn't, then it wouldn't. I think I've got everything fitted now. God, there's so many things behind me. What is all that? I like all the police. <laughs> Literally all the police. Uh, it's actually a get together. It's a police party. <laughs> a Christmas party. It's a little late, but you know they were in duty on Christmas days. Yeah, they were protecting us from all the people who momentarily loiter in docking bays and things. You know those kinds of criminals. Somebody said, what do you carry, I wonder. That's always good. Can't figure out where. After that, near the end of my... Well, I mean... At a certain point in my EVE career, I got really good at using the directional scanner. It's a shame that that yeah. particular skill is never going to really be... <laughs> It is definitely a skill as well. I remember trying it. It's hard. I remember there was like one. There was like one time. I forget. I, I guess Eben was probably taking us out. I forget if it was when we were in Syndicate or if we were in some other region of space. But um, I'm sitting there, and I I haven't been playing for very long. But you know, I'm like, you know, I'm just like, just figured out kind of how to use the directional scanner, or rather, I haven't, but I'm using the directional scanner, and suddenly, um, tense moment because we our fleet is like. Waiting, and we're like, there's another fleet around who's way bigger than we are, and they're gonna kick our asses. What the fuck is going on with my warrant scanner? And you know, I'm like, I've got my um, I knew where they were. You know, we we knew what what celestial they were at, and so I was trying this thing that someone had recently taught me, where you crank down the range on the war on the directional scanner really low. Uh -huh. Uh, and so it should only show our fleet, right? But mm -hmm. as soon as I saw other ships start to pop up, and then eventually, like, like after like half a second, it was like a ton of ships. And I like went ahead and I, like on comm saying, you know, um, they're they're coming. 
<laughs> you know, or something. And they even told me to shut the fuck up, and then their uh, fleet landed on top of us. <laughs> Quite impressive that you could catch them that way. Yeah. Right, yeah, I'm all... I don't know, it's just... There's definitely a strategic right. aspect to that game that I haven't found in any other game. I guess maybe somewhat in per but I, on, on the other hand, there are aspects of the both games that I do not fucking, right. will not fucking miss. Um, Station camping, oh Christ. I'm in Hebo. Hebo, okay, Hebo, Hebo, I don't know. There was like little tricks, like, there was one that was kind of neat, I actually got to use it like only once or twice, but it was like a thing where, um, what was it? Um... Yeah, it was a thing where you had, if, there was a guy off of a gate, right, maybe a couple hundred kilometers off the gate, and if he was in line with a Celestial, you could warp back at like a hundred kilometers or something, right? That wasn't that a thing? Uh, yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, obviously, you can't warp in at 400 kilometers, but if you got one of your own guys to fly within like 100 kilometers or something of the guy, yeah. not even cloak, just sitting there at 100 kilometers, um, you could warp at, out to the Celestial and then back at 100 and land right on top of him. I only got to use it once or twice, but both times it was pretty funny. Right, uh, I'm yeah, it would be very... I don't even know if there are conflicts... No, no, you saw conflict zones in, in some system, right? Where they were, like, killing, like, um... Well, like, uh, police? Yeah, that was, um, LP-98. Yeah, and that that wasn't, like, the Federation fighting... No, 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 no yeah, so... The, yeah, you can definitely get conflict zones, I, I assume, yeah. in... Yeah, elsewhere. Um, which would be very cool if they had one in, like, uh, 78 or Psy Majoris. Because, <laughs> I mean, Alioth, we're, we're working towards oh, that. You know what? One thing, of course, is, I mean, this hasn't occurred to me, but you could get the same information from scanning stuff, right, that I can get. Only one person needs to have the advanced scanner. What? Right, exploration. Right? I know you're not big into exploration, but it just struck me that you can do group exploration because you don't need to know where... Like, only one person in the group that's working together needs to know where the object is that you're going to go scan, right? Right, yeah. But do you not make more money with the uh, advanced scanner? Well, it'll scan everything in the system, but no, you don't make more money. You... Yeah. So, yeah, you'll find all the stuff in the system, but say if we found, like, a black hole, which I know there is one, um, then I could, I could, like, find its location and head towards it and make her and leave you behind. Yeah. And you could also scan Yeah, no, that makes hole. sense. Um, uh, my only... be worth having a... a so you're sure that you don't make more money from the advanced scanner as opposed to the basic scanner it's actually really scanning cool. things? Um, if, uh, did, if you go to, I think it's called lavewiki dot something, just Google lavewiki anyway. And got Finally a fucking them. cobra. They've got an go on. on exploration and um, that was quite handy actually. Lavewiki? I believe it's called lavewiki, yeah, because in the original Star Wars system in the original it was called lave. Well, it's called Lave, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, I know. We have been there, like that. We have been to Lave, yeah. It wasn't terribly interesting, it's but, you know. It's just a historic location. Like a lot of historic locations are. Yeah. I feel like there should be. I loved it when I went sign. to Wolf 359 and I, like, flipped out about it because, I mean, that's a big system in Star Trek. Yeah, it'd be really awesome if you could, like, leave marks and stuff. Like, go down to the turret, like, ground and leave, like, writing in the dirt and stuff. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Someone comes along five, six years later and happens to land in a similar place. It's like, holy sh! Someone's been here already. I can tell because the damn writing. This game needs like a Borg. That would be awesome. Yeah, some kind of unifying outside. Well, hey, I suppose there's no reason why that couldn't be happening in some later point. I guess they're trying to establish their systems and stuff, you know, to make sure that the bugs are a bit more ironed out before they go into some major storyline developments like that. But that could be, yeah, that could be fascinating. Yep. Huh, I wonder as well if they might be thinking of doing, for instance, for like DLC, if there are big events that you buy DLC for, but it doesn't. You know, it means that you don't lose anything from the main content of the game, but they'll keep updating it. But then, say if there's like 
a big event like everyone says advertised is going to happen, blah blah blah, and it's going to be like a long, an ongoing thing for a couple of months or whatever. And to get permits to get into the system, you can't, you can't earn them. You can only buy them outside the game or something. That seems like that might be alright, because that's like extra added sort of work and content that they're putting in. That I don't yeah, no, I don't actually have a problem with that. Yeah, that's why, and I really hope that's kind of the way they go with this. Yes, it's got a problem. Yeah. I gotta quickly warp uh, out. Um, I accidentally shot somebody who wasn't a pirate, so. He was red, but he wasn't a pirate. It's weird. Yeah, but what's he got? What's there to be angry about? Oh, well, I could, I could definitely relate to that. Did I make the wrong choice? Oh, no, I made an okay choice. I jumped to a system and I was like, okay, so... Oh, this is actually kind of neat. But anyway, uh, I said, um... Okay, so is this station going to be... 10 light seconds away or 50,000 million light seconds away? 
happen to be someone in between. I swear to God, John. They need to tell me where this fucking texture file is that puts the smeary shit all over my windshield. I despise it. It adds nothing for me. It just looks like someone's smeared like paste all over my windshield. I wish I could squeeze a little more performance out of my video card. I'm, I mean, like, most of the time I get 60 frames solid, but like, sometimes in those asteroid belts, I'm dropping down to like the mid, like the, the sub 40s, which kind of makes me sad. Stations also kind of do it, I guess. If I was... But you're you're playing at like over 9,000 uh, resolution. If you get 60. A lot of the time, like like flying right now through just space towards a station, 60 frames. 60 frames unless I'm next to a station or I'm in an asteroid belt, basically. I guess if I could, like, there was just something I could do to squeeze a little more performance out, but I can't think of anything. Sort of overclocking, which I really don't want to do. No, you don't understand though, John. With this video card, I really don't want to overclock it. As it is, it's a replacement for a card that died. And if I kill it, then I have no video card. I'm sitting here with no way to play um, Elite Dangerous, and, and then I... I don't know. Bad things happen. What's another star? That's neat. Why didn't I just warp to that star? You know what I mean, right? I mean, like, a lot of times with games, they'll have, like, here's a little thing, you, a little change you can make in, like, some sort of configuration file, and it'll increase your frame rate by blah de blah by making a very small change that, you know, helps you in some way. Oh yeah, yeah. For, for ages, no. My 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 problem with Planet Side Two was always my my um processor though. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was like I played a lot of Planet Side on a computer that really couldn't play Planet Side very well. And and then I found when I actually had a computer that could play it, I, I didn't really care to play it anymore. It was fun while it lasted. of my life. On the bright side, I get to go to old McDonald's um, settlement. Oh, that's an interesting one. I don't think I've seen that before. The station... Uh, that is so weird. Um, let's back off a little bit and take a screenshot of it. Wrong button. Hits on a fucking what? Why am I wanted in this system? I'm wanted by the Alliance. I'm wanted by everyone. I, it, actually, it, it appears that that wantedness was with the Alliance as a whole. So that's super. <laughs> I need to find an independent station in the system. And none of these ones will work. I guess I'll go somewhere else. Stream too. This is kind of an interesting looking station.
That sucks. Check the uh, screenshot I sent you. Never seen a Coriolis with the pylons before. Uh, okay, so I take it from your reaction, you have seen them before. No, John, it's fine. I guess I just won't send you any more uh, screenshots. Never again. Yeah. God, the shit all over my screen. <laughs> Like I should like post to like a thread on the forums and just be like, what the fuck is this? And like have like a screenshot with like MS Paint arrows like pointing at all the shit on my screen. <laughs> Questing windshield wipers. John, what should we call the the? I mean, what should we call that? It's not a windshield because there's no wind. We're in space. Still doesn't help. Right, if anything, you've made it worse, John. <laughs> And honestly, windows, Star Trek traditionally, and honestly, it wouldn't. I mean, like, well, they don't really have windows in Star Trek, do they? They don't, but they do. They do they do they do for some things, and it's oh, a bit yeah. silly, especially for the like. Okay, so in the uh, the new Star Trek movies, um, the view screen is actually, um, which I think is what it's called, is um, let's say like just put it up on the screen or whatever, um, I think. But yeah, anyway, it's actually, in the new movies, it's actually a window. It's a window kind of like this, with like the HUD, like a HUD being like drawn on it. Whereas in, traditionally, it was always just like a screen, a like an LCD screen. screen or something, you know? And the, although the bridge was always, I always thought it was sort of silly that the bridge was placed on the outside of the ship, as and opposed to some sort of centralized location. Hot core, like, yeah. Like you, you would you would think that you would want your command and control center to be like in, in the most protected part of your ship, right? Instead of yeah. easily targetable. I mean, you would also thought uh, probably have thought that having the option to separate the saucer in emergencies isn't really all that great. I mean. Yeah, no, they've they've they've, they've, they've like, come up with a lot of silly I'm ideas. Sure. Yeah, and that's why you know I'm fine with it being like science fiction. So, yeah. They've also. Predicted a lot of things, kind of. Yeah, and definitely influenced the um, happening of them to some extent. I would think yeah, so. Yes. Yeah. Adoption of things as well. People are comfortable with some of the things that have changed because of Star Trek. Like, I mean, like on Star Trek, everything was paperless. It was always there, just handing pads around. And now, look, we're all using tablets. It's silly. Well, kind of, yeah, it's kind of funny how um. The, the, the interesting thing though is, I guess they didn't have the, the internet, but it's of course, and they wouldn't because it's not possible across. Oh wait, but they had high speed communication, didn't they? Like they could talk in what? In Star Trek? Actually, they? There was. They kind of went back and forth on that. <laughs> Um, I think it was something called subspace communication, which yeah. is is this is the space that you were going through when you were in warp, I think. Or no, hold on. I know I think so. Right? Uh, like the whole idea of the warp yeah. drive was that it created like a bubble, and bubble was of real like the bubble of real space around your ship kept your ship from being torn apart by what was happening so, to its um, <laughs> while it was going through whatever yeah. it was going through.
But, um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just stuck with walking that anyway. It's like, Landing gear deployed. It's a bit different, like, whatever. It's, it's, yeah, because I don't think they didn't have jumps. They always had well, they had warp, which is a bit like the warp in this game, although I guess. Well, it's like so Disengaged. You had to use warp for in-system travel and long distances like in Voyager they had to go through using warp and the world they wanted to get that back thing. Yeah, no, um it, you definitely had to warp between systems. In system you could, but I think it was somewhat limited by gravity wells. Oh, yeah, they use um Impulse, which yeah, is sublight. Yeah. Which. Who even cares how that works? <laughs> Doesn't need no explaining. That was so worth it for three hundred percent. Yeah, no, um, it does look like in Star Trek they're saying that they are moving the ship from real space into subspace. Right. By enclosing it in a bubble of real space. It's a shame they don't actually have it be longer in some way, or shorter, yeah, depending yeah. on the distance. Um, like, just notice that, like, say it takes five seconds, to maybe, maybe it's Maybe there was, like, a counter? It, it's something yeah, you wouldn't, yeah. maybe you wouldn't notice without the counter, but if yeah, there was a counter on your yeah. screen that, that, like, like, was counting down to you dropping out of a hyper thingamajig, then that would be kind of neat. Uh, you sh you can feel free to do that. Maybe um, I'm currently fixing my bounty situation real quick. No, the ring planets have resource extraction sites around them. Well, some of them do, not all of them, but a lot of them do. I mean, Star Trek deals with a lot of stuff that is kind of pseudoscience-y, but yeah. also science-y, I mean... Yeah. Yeah, they were always about the whiz and the bang. It's more, I mean, Star Wars was always uh, more of a western than anything else, like a space western. Yeah. Was it? I, I've been thinking about seeing it. I might see if my sister will go see it with me. She fancies that kind of thing. Um, two years apart. Yeah. Yes.
I feel like it hasn't been out that long. Um. No, wait, you know what? You're thinking of Maleficent, right? No, holy shit, you know, I was thinking of something completely different, I'm sorry. I was thinking of Into the Woods. Yeah. Yeah, Maleficent was pretty good, though. I might check that out. Uh, that was the, um, what's her face? Uh, Angelina Jolie movie. I mean, she's a sympathetic character, right? Yeah. But, uh... That's always huge when it comes to, um, making, like, a character that's, you know, good. No, 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 but I mean, she isn't just pure evil, which is always kind of annoying. Yeah, well, um, I love about the tale when they take from something where you know, she is the evil character in a very small way. Yeah. yeah. But it's not as simple as she's just evil, which is actually the opposite of what Disney often seems to do with the characters. They often seem to take something which is more complex than that, and maybe less complex. Okay, uh, let's see here. You're, you're in Hebo system, right? Mm -hmm. You're already at an RSC? <laughs> You're going to the nearest one from where? The sun. The sun. Oh, <sighs> shit. Krylov? Hebo 2. Hebo 2, alright. No, 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 there's actually RSEs, RES is rather orbiting most of the planets, but... Head to Hebo 2, do you think maybe instead of... Do you think you could like crank down your speed and just approach the one that you're going to? Okay. Two hours into the next wave to get there. Well, it's a nice view because it's uh, quite pretty many times. Yeah. No complaints there, man. Hoping it's the closest one from the sun. Well, I can see something. Commander Nimadel. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> it looks like I'm doing so. Unless it's Min Doro or something. Yeah, it's my evil clone from the uh, alternate universe. It's Min Doro. <laughs> it's a Jedi. It's like Dim Noral, and uh, he's pretty. Yeah, he has a beard, obviously. Just, just Nim Doro. Um, oh, yeah, so. Um, Zomboid? Oh, okay. You have enough games, John. Well, I'm, I'm going to what I think is the closest one, so... Oh, you son of a bitch! I've not tried that before. Sorry. You can just pull back this Never! I'm not even trying, I just thought I'd pull the button. <laughs> and I've got a pretty good one there. Let's see what I'm shooting. Oh, you're gonna get away. Yeah, there you go. That's it. I know. You get. Didn't pull you out, did it? No. Good. We're still headed to the same station now, or the same RS, you know, RES, rather. I want to say RSC. Resource site, extraction site. I didn't think that would work either. I just saw you go zipping past and press the button, basically. I wasn't ready for I'm going to report you for uh, to the local authorities. For griefing. There's, there's yeah, for griefing. Local. We need to go pump him, oh, pump him full of He's the worst. In local. In local? <laughs> We're not even flails or anything.
or X even, but it's this one. Is. Yeah, I was never really bothered by warp, like the warp drive, and uh, obviously I think uh, uh, re in recent years somebody came up with um, the Alkabir drive, uh, that's like an actual scientist came up with an idea for being able to move something through phase faster than the speed of light, which is kind of nifty, and uh, you know, Star Trek is like, oh yeah, well, that's what we were doing the whole time. Routed in science, cop, cop, wink, wink, anyway. But, um, are you back in warp now? Yeah. Okay, I'm heading to this one. Cool. But, uh, now, transporters, on the other hand, always freaked me out. I'm like, no, that's, nope. Nope. I mean, it's a good, I guess it's a decent, okay, first of all, it's convenient, and second of all, it's a decent, like, plot device. No, it's oh, like, right. oh no, we've had a transporter accident. No, transporter, the not transporter. communication. Oh. Oh, it's just, it's terrifying, the idea of transporting, like, living matter using it is it's just... Not, it's not even living matter, it's like, oh, that is one of the conscious entities. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but conscious entities and living matter is different. Like, you know, <sighs> I'm not sure that's going to make them that much difference, but you need some Okay, John, now, now, now you're just, you know, it's, um, rubbing my face in, in semantics. Um, True enough, that's fair. That's exactly what I meant. I'm like, if I get. If I get transported, am I gonna be the same person who shows up on the other side? Well, Terrifying. I guess the question was always whether or not it's the same person or is it a copy or the same consciousness consciousness or is it a copy? You know, it's it's really it's something that's not entirely pleasant to think about, is it? Well, I actually like thinking about that kind of stuff first. It's sort of like a copy. From a so, theoretical standpoint, definitely, but Oh no, from a literal actual standpoint. I find it fascinating. Like well where where I guess I I I I'm I'm I am i i do not know how to put it but um, for instance, for my own personal enjoyment and interest, I read Consciousness Explained by Daniel Bennett, which is like, I don't know, six, seven hundred, eight hundred page textbook, basically, of which uh, it goes into, like, how it, it's, it's constructs a basic theory of how we can actually explain some of the fundamental aspects of consciousness. really something like, okay, some people say it's something that we know more about space than we do about the depths of oceans, which might be true, but one way or another we know less about either of those things, and more about either of those things where a long shot we do about how the human brain works, and how consciousness arises, whatever exactly consciousness is, which we can't precisely define yet, we know we're not certain. <laughs> yeah. So I've dropped it. So have I. Um, yeah, well, they actually, it, it it typically drops you pretty far away from the belt. How far away are you from the uh, point? Oh, that's odd. Um, I assume we went to the same one. Right, I think I saw an ask when I initially jumped in. I'm probably far enough away from you right yeah, now that you couldn't see me. I'm trying to kill a, um, trying to kill a wanted, uh, Cobra. Quite a bit of red here. I'm happy about that, I guess. That was pretty close. Uh, look around maybe for some, uh, shooting. Uh, 
I love it how when you start scanning something, even if it's not guilty, it runs off. If you weren't guilty, you wouldn't have anything to run away for. More targets here. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Um, let's kill these targets and then I'll try and find you. Oh shit, that was close. That was proximity alarm. Where are they? Man. Another Sidewinder on scan. They're, they're always hanging around here. Yeah, I know, it's not me shooting yet, I'm trying to get in range. It's a wanted Sidewinder. Okay, I've Mark 3, that's wanted. Oh, lucky you. You fight a good fight. Well, thank you, random computer generated thing. I saw you last. Uh, uh, if you're, are you shooting things? I'm not now. I see a sidewinder that's wanted. It's like everything on the map appears to be trying to kill it, so that's amusing. Yeah, I see you. Nothing that I think is wanted anymore, but... Ooh, what the hell? F-63 Yeah, no, those are, um... Police, um, a federal, I think. That's clean. Yeah, there's a side one. Oh, you were shooting in.
says you're harmless. Don't know about that. Shut up, John. There's a cover mark three here that is getting shot at. And he's wanted. Jesus Christ, Mr. Policeman. Son of a bitch. Police assault. <laughs> Shields go online right when I kill him. That's funny. Calling in reinforcements. There's a guy here. He's got a 200 credit bounty. <laughs> Call reinforcements. They're all done. <laughs> all right. I think Roddenberry Station is a place I can go to um to get happy. Or just kill all the cops. All of them. Of the NSA is listening to this too. The cops? Yeah, the cops are chasing me. You know what a charge. from these fucking cops. They're, I guess their combined mass is making my... God damn it, John. The what? Yeah, it does, but... You're wanted. <laughs> Don't you dare. You would kill me for 200 credits, wouldn't you, John? <laughs> no, I certainly would not, but I just kind of... No, trying to get some more bounties. Oh, yeah. That's a thing that you can do. Man. Yeah. Uh, just saying, that would mean dropping my beam lasers. That would make me sad. No!
one two of Lucky. And so we're going to Roddenberry Station, which is mildly amusing. Being thingied. Yeah, I'm gonna just submit. Oh, tits. Online. Didn't submit fast enough. The clean eagle. Excuse me, sir, you seem to have ripped me out of space for no reason. Engaging perpetrator? Oh, that's lovely. So every year this local uh, restaurant that uh, serves hot dogs mainly, every year for Christmas they put up a bunch of these, uh, like the lithographs, the things that are like kind of like holographic-ish, you know, the thing where you move and it moves, the image moves. A bunch of lithographs and stuff of Jesus, Jesus if you will. And one of my favorites is this Jesus that, um, it's like if you move his eyes open and close, but if you get it just the right angle. One of his eyes is open, and the other eye is winking at you. <laughs> Why are you winking at me, Jesus? I see Jesus. that you survived, John. That would have been a tragic end. Oh yeah, I love the number of assholes on the fucking forums. Okay, like a guy posts a, um, a thread and is like saying exactly what I was talking about 10 seconds ago. It's kind of annoying that, you know, a cop flies across your field of view 
quickly for you to react and you nick him with a you know a laser or something and you're getting fined not even fined you have a bounty now and you have to leave they're like nine of these fucking posts of are just like you know you suck stop being so careless step one aim step two at the target step three not at the police People like giving all these hints are like, uh, tips are like, yeah, all you have to do is not shoot the cops. It's real, it's real simple. Oh, uh, you're gonna play this game again? But uh, hey, let's reload over and over and over game, because that was fun the last time. Target destroyed. Killed what? Oh. That's cool. I saw somebody with a kind of nifty, um, what's it called, uh, like a signature banner thing, you know what I'm talking about on forums? God, and now my reputation with the Alliance has dropped. I hate this game. And why? Oh, because I nicked a cop, a beam, laser, blew straight across my field of view, I had no time to react. T being reprimanded, John? So I said, is he being reprimanded for his piss poor piloting skills? I think not. <laughs> Dude, mind me. I don't. I would almost feel bad killing him, John. Personally. That's pretty optimistic, John. Just saying. At this point, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to this thing. I'm, it's not an issue yet, I'm going to Krylov to turn in uh, my bounties, I got about 100k, and I'm like, oh, that's enough to stop for a second. Um, but once I get back, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to find you again. Okay, I'll, I'll let you know when it uh, becomes an issue. My favorite one is when their shields go up right as you're killing them, so they have like zero hull and they're like spinning through space. That's like enemy shields restored and they explode. My favorite kill so far though was the one where I rammed into a sidewinder that had no shield. That was pretty priceless. Just went cartwheeling through space and then exploded. It was awesome. to understand what the blue uh, section of the um, throttle is for. I'm watching a video of a guy, he says that he, he, got, he got wanted status. Or he um, went to a station that says he docked and paid off the bounty, undocked, and was killed instantly by the police. 
Right by the station. Although I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be curious to see how he actually managed to dock at the station with his wanted status. I've never actually seen the cockpit of the uh, ASP before. Kind of neat. How am I going so fucking fast? I guess the way that you raise your st uh, reputation with the um, larger faction of the Alliance is you have to raise your reputation with the missions for the smaller sub-factions, right? I guess there's no real way around that. Okay, yeah, so he's wanted... What is he doing? Looks like he might be going into silent running mode. Doing the silent running mode to dock. Yeah. Which is pretty pro, I guess. Can't. F I, don't, I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> this is pretty amusing. Worth every penny. It's always amusing when you kill somebody. You you know obviously what did they do? They accidentally shot somebody or bumped into somebody or something. Minor infraction. It's just like, and then I killed him. All right, so he's no longer wanted, and he's undocking. That's unfortunate. He almost got away. That sucks. I feel like a good way to explain your ability not to die would be I mean, are we are we saying that that, that players them out almost supernaturally capable of somehow like ejecting from their ships before they explode and that's how you can explain how oh yeah I'm I didn't die I, I ejected right it's as good an explanation as any um, um so I mean it'd be cool if there was a like an, a, a, a better like ejection like, uh, animation, you know? Like an actual, like, from your viewpoint kind of thing where, you know, it's all like, eject, eject, and then you actually eject, and you get to see your ship, uh, like, you, you flying away from your ship from your own perspective, and you look at your ship and it explodes, that'd be kind of cool. Okie dokie. Running in my bounties. My favorite part of the video was when he, um, he, he's, he's under fire at this point in the video as he's trying to dock, and he slams into the landing bay, and it's like, 
deploy your landing gears. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> probably should have done that about five seconds ago. Just rubbing on the docking port. Some sort of perverted thingy. Beam laser, tech two, um, turreted. Only two mil. Come on, man. Come on, man. Such a, such a, a money person not willing to spend all your money on a thing like that. What's wrong with you? Where's that beef? Ooh, no, that's a fuel scoop. I got excited for nothing. I have a detailed surface scanner. It's docked up at the moment. Now I'm undocked. To Nick Opperman read Twas the Night Before Christmas. He actually came to my university, but I, I wasn't able to go to his um his show. Because I was lazy or busy or something. Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm... Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, right, what was your question? You, who, so what? Cryl... Yeah, 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 Cryl... Oh, you did? Wait, hold on, 200 or 200? Wait, what? You're wanted. It says you're wanted and then... Okay, yeah. Go to Roddenberry Station. And if you're going there, maybe I should too. Hold on. I don't have to make it sound so weird, John. Sorry. Only kidding. I'm gonna start at Roddenberry Station, and then I'm gonna go to the closest RSC from our uh, Roddenberry Station, okay? But what I'm saying is that way you'll also be able to find the same RSC.
that's a little weird. Go on. I don't know why he decided to drop me 50 fucking 6 kilometers away. <laughs> it was for my own safety, right? From, what, from the belt? Yeah, from oh, the extraction yeah, site. Be much further from the belts, yeah. Engines engaged. What? <laughs> Is Krillog wearing a lion? No, it's it's not a lion. Wait, hold on. Yes, it is a lion. But I'm. It's not a belt that's near Roddenberry, though. Just has a point of interest. Only these belts had more specific names. Ooh, shooting! I see shooting! It's like one of the shooters is an anaconda, that's cool. Hmm. Yeah, it's nothing to get excited about, it doesn't have a bounty. I saw an anaconda shoot something that took out like all of its shields, like half of its armor, it was hilarious. Why is this thing trying to go like mano a mano with this fucking anaconda? It's crazy. Yeah, it's almost dead. Silly. On Anaconda, or not Anaconda, but Sidewinder, getting his blind spot. Everybody knows about the blind spot. That's true. Talking about, I don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. Spot in your vision where you actually can't see. Yeah, like in front of you or behind you? No, right, right, right. 
Okay, I've seen that one before. It actually freaked me out one time. It was spacing out in class. Alright, well, it's on the back of that book, which let's explain. Yeah, no. Um, I was looking class and I was looking at the board, and then, like, suddenly it's like, wait a minute. What the fuck is that? And I started doing it and it freaked me out. It's like, is this normal? Stop shooting me, Mr. Anaconda. I hear the words. That's always what I do. <laughs> In real life as well. <laughs> Love that. Explosions. Um, especially if you can get like right up on top of it. <laughs> oh, by the way, they will hurt you. I don't give a shit. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think that anaconda. Oh, I don't even know what it is. It doesn't matter. Every, all the shooting is done, John. No, mine's name is Christian Danny Dorgard. Some yeah. algae over here. Algae? Algae. Where? Uh, Silent running mode. I'll never find me. No, wait, that was the wrong button. I, uh, I uh, deployed my cargo scoop instead. I'll never see me. Make me kill you, John. You're still moving. Why are you still? <laughs> okay. Scan detected. Okay, now I can shoot right into your cockpit and kill you instantly. Deploy your thingies. No, because they'll automatically shoot at you. Will they? Yeah. As soon as I target you, they'll start shooting. I mean, well, if you turn up to report crimes, I'll see you very well. But... Oh, I just wanted to see your guns. Did you see my guns? Yeah, I see your guns. Here, look, turn up report crimes. Uh, alright, hold on. Because otherwise, I'm pretty sure they're just shooting. I mean, you know, I'll get a bounty. Alright, yeah, it's report crimes against me is turned off. Alright. That's pretty cool. Ah, so maybe they're not gonna shoot you. That's yeah, cool. they're not shooting me, John. That's cool. You want me to shoot you? Not terribly. It's a full shield, right? Yeah. Crimes against your all? Yeah. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't in case the others see the crime. And say it's a crime. Yeah, they'll they'll see the crime. They'll report the crime. I can't I can't have you know okay, it'll be like the telephone game. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, report crimes back on. Alright, hold on. Report crimes against me. On orbit lines, whatever. Interface brightness. How what does that affect? The brightness of your hut? Oh, that's cool. All the way up. Yeah, I have all the way up. But it looks really cool all the way down as well. Sensor scale type. Logarithmic? No. Yeah. Linear. No, no, you want logarithmic, man. Why would I want logarithmic? Because otherwise, when you're looking at stuff really far out, it's not nearly as far out, right? I mean, you know how logarithmic works, right? Yeah, I know what logarithmic uh, scale is, and I don't think that's going to be copacetic to me. Figuring out what distances are. But it doesn't help anyway if it's, if it's, uh, what do you call it, not logarithmic, um, linear. Because, I guess, well, mm, I don't know. I don't, I think, I think logarithmic makes sense. It doesn't. <laughs> A 
That's a bad touch, John. Is that your cockpit? Oh, it is. You should get a seat. Hold on, I'm gonna blind you now. Nah, I'm too close. I can see the stars reflecting in your cockpit. Yeah, let me, I'll go for it. Yeah, light. Ooh, it's not moving. Not moving, you're moving. What if somebody sees us during this, John? They'll judge us. What is that? Ouch. Yeah, so it rubbing shields. What rubbing shields is that gonna go? Didn't seem to do any harm. I should just be able to plow into you. See, it's all good. Yeah, that's what I mean. I know you're so. <laughs> this is where it counts as a climb against me because you bashed me. <laughs> well, actually, I must say, the look of your like, pattern there is really pretty awesome. What do you mean, the paint job? Yeah, in the look, it's really good. Like, when it's just greenish, it's not so cool, but like this, there's different lighting effects. There's a bunch of things getting shot at around us. Yeah, we should probably go and help it. I suppose. The cops definitely need our help. Yeah, it, you know, it uses it. I saw something getting shot at. Oh, I saw something red. Oh, I see some shooting. What is that? Anaconda. Or an enemy anaconda. Mind you, it's a friendly anaconda. I mean, friendly ish. People do raise a bit of a valid point. I mean, there's other people in the forums who are arguing and saying it's not the case, but I do feel like for a lot of, for most purposes, bigger is better in this game. It isn't necessarily, I don't know. I guess, yeah. I never got a warning. What? About um, a warp drive being charged. Okay. That's unfortunate. Uh. Oh, I just had a, a nasty, nasty idea. What? Like a warning in the side. I suppose. Dishonest, John. Go for it. I see some shooting, I'm gonna go check it out.
slowly racking up a decent bounty um, for what's it called, a uh, thingy? Empire space. It's a matter of time. I wanted Cabra, I'll go for that. Why isn't it? Oh, I'm not deployed. Yeah, that might be helpful. Motherfucker, why is he pissed at me? I don't even have a bounty and the cops are shooting at me. <laughs> but if I shoot back, what'll happen? Bounty. Oh, I actually haven't seen a lot of wanted vipers. He's shooting, shooting is always good. Actually, she shoots in close. He's shooting in two locations. I'm sure one of them is you. Yeah. Same for the one that's like the shooter is uh, more inept. <laughs> Little bit of comedy. What is he doing? It's gotta be mining. better sensors. Yeah, this is a lot better, I think, anyway, at least for my personal use. Alright, so pissed off Vipers, I'll try and get past them. And all the police here are pissed off at me. I think I see you. Oh yeah, it's a wanted viper. That's weird. Don't see very many of those. Well, harmless. Honestly, if I had to guess, I'd say it's probably not going to give you very much. Oh man, there's an anaconda coming at me. That's pissed. I thought I saw harmless, but maybe I was looking at the wrong thing. Not that bad either. I think you'd mind terribly too much if we moved on to a different belt. I got a little. All the all the all the police here are pissed off from me for no reason. I'm always afraid there's like something that I've set wrong on my ship, you know? Set wrong, and like a, like something in like functions maybe. What? Yeah, there's a bunch of cops on my ass. 
mean, there, the problem is, I mean, if we were like, if they weren't, pol if they weren't alliance, I might just fucking, you know, go for them. But they're alliance, and I. Would you like to go to Empire Space? What the fuck is that? Oh, that was weird. Something shot by me. I guess it was cannon fire. Been war bound. Yeah. Maybe not. I don't really want to fly too far away from, uh, as you. I mean. <laughs> oh, that hard. Um, why isn't it showing up? What's that under? Is it cargo? Oh, function. Yeah, no, it looks like uh, I can do 13.45. Okay, I'm gonna head to Krylov. I'm gonna dump it at Krylov, and, and while I'm on the way there, I'll look at the map. Federal. But oh, I, it's it's your prerogative, obviously. But I, I'm definitely going for alliance. You sure they're not exclusive? I mean, I feel like it'd be hard to get high rank with one without. I, I'm not that thrilled by the dropship, to be frank. I mean, I don't know. I should look at the. I felt like the prices. It didn't look like it was much more of a jump just to go to the. The. What's it called? Python. Aka Destroyer. Federal. Yeah, fuck those guys. Maybe. I should be in front of you. Heading to Krylov, where are you headed? Oh, maybe you are ahead of me then. Um, yeah, you would be. Yeah, you are. Uh, Chris, now I've dis... I need to re -like my destination. Federal dropship is 37 mil, I think. That's 56. So Ooh. A bit more, yeah. Imperial Clipper is only 22. Kind of pretty, but I'm not gonna work towards Imperial thingy. In fact, I feel like I've heard that if you get good reputation with a faction in a station that sells a ship, then you can sell it to you even if you don't have the rank for it. Right, love? It's red. It's fine. Uh, 
I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I was looking. First of all, it is kind of neat. Uh, it, the whole habitat ring that rotates around it is neat. It reminds me of this game I used to play called, um, what was it called? I mean, if you if you look at it as you're docking, it's at the... Yeah, it's, it's got like, I don't know, you can see grass and stuff. If you actually look at it, though, you'll... You, it's a it's it's not a very complicated um texture it's a repeating texture you can see there yeah but um that's a game i used to play called startopia it was uh, like a space station tycoon kind of thing uh you you missed out man it's properly a good game it is available on steam too yeah Obviously a bit of a step up from the ASP, though. I'm speaking of the Imperial Clipper. Yeah. I mean, I can actually see what the specs are right now. You kind of imagine, you, you must imagine that at some point the Alliance might get its own faction ship yeah, so. at the similar price point. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I mean, it's at least in the queue, but... I don't even know what the queue is, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm tempted to just make my jump here. Yeah, I wonder who the other pilot... There's another pilot here. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and... Yeah. Disable my docking computer. Going for it. How do you override it? Yeah, but at that point, anytime you have to drop to like no speed, it's like oh, right. okay, it takes so back over again. Um, when, I'm, when I want to go slowly, like I hold on now, so I don't actually have to go to complete zero. Maybe. Well, since I manually docked, I wonder if I remember how. <laughs> Should have seen the guy though. He just fucking went lighting into his docking port. The guy in the asp that got killed by the station after he paid the ticket. Which is pure comedy. He just went sliding into the bay at like Mach 10 or something. His shields are getting eaten up by the station's guns, and it's like, docking, uh, docking landing gears, please. Like, yeah. <laughs> I bet he was brown trousering quite hard right there. Brown space yes. Of course, then he obviously undocked again and got killed by the station for no reason. <laughs> you know, that's neither here nor there, right? Yeah. 21,000 credits, yes, please. Did I get any bounties? I thought I no, I did. It's just being slow. Twenty-seven thousand, whatever. Not terribly. I mean, it's probably worth looking, but I'll look at the system map. You are you are telling me what to do, John. You're a horrible person. The worst. You'll do this if you know what's good for you. I'm trying to find some Empire, empire space that's close. Yeah, there's none directly super close. But... I got one at 90 light years. That'll do. I'm trying to find one closer. But I think that's gonna be not happening. I mean, 90 light years, what's this? 9 jumps max. That would be cool. 
Oh, unfortunately, I clicked fastest routes and now it's recalculating all the jumps. Uh, what's this? Oh, here, I'll look at The system is called Liaden. Uh, that's L I A E D I N. I can repeat it again if you need. Uh, L I A E. Uh -huh. D-I-N Oh, D-I-N, good friend Almost had it, but I had a little bit of an It's so weird watching the little fingers of the Yeah, it's kind of cool App now. crawling along Why is it so slow though? Oh, I've got high tech slip, I think Yeah, I want All the economy by fun And then leave it not very many jumps. Of course, the thing is, is if we go to L, if we go to that system, uh -huh. we'll be killing and kill the local pirates. We'll be getting imperial bounties. But if we kill the cops, we'll be wanted by oh, the see. imperials, and we won't be able to turn in the bounties. You see the problem with that? Yeah. Well, I guess that place though must be on the edge of Imperial space. It is on the very edge, yeah. So we could um hang out not in Imperial space. No, we could I don't know. We could go to a system nearby. 31 Aquilae. Nothing nearby that's Federation or Alliance, I don't think. I doubt it. It's independent and turn off the other one. Independent, yeah. 31 Aquilae. Alliance is pretty much only. Oh, well, there's an Alliance thing. Land 27055. What are we looking for? Yeah, Empire. Well, we could go by the Alliance system on the way to get the bounties for that if you want. Oh, there's a little uh, system too. What system are you talking about? And 270. I see LP space 385-58, 58 light years away. I'm really not bothered by that. Um, yeah, I don't even I don't even know if it'll be that easy to do bounty or bounty hunting in that system though. If it doesn't have like RSEs, then it's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Well, I guess we could just pull things out of warp. Yeah. We'd so have to fit a fit a thingy for that. Well worth it though. Um. Well, how about then? Uh, hang on. How far is Anlay? Um. How do you spell that? Uh, like Lay. 69 light years, it's Federation. Uh, trying to work out what's nearby it. There are a lot of independent systems around here. A fair amount of them are also Federation, but still. Where we are? Mm, just in general. <laughs> Can't find the system. system right now, no. Yeah, yeah, I know it is. Yeah, okay, it is. So. That's why I kept pissing off the cops, and they're like, "I don't want to kill them. It's annoying." Thing is, is if you kill the, if they're wanted, they're wanted by one of the main factions or or a minor faction. Which one? Ma a major faction, right? Not always. If you get independent places, um, then they're normally wanted locally. I wonder what the deal is with the pro alliance party. Is that like a large faction? Hmm. I'm showing mostly social Hebo revolutionary party, which is alliance in the system. So yeah, they're the ones in control. So it's an uh, alliance system. If we were to go to Anlave to look at what they've got available there, because if it's not available there, it's basically not available. Well, what about like specialty stuff though, or rare uh, yeah, stuff? 
Right. Um, I mean, they don't have all the rare things or whatever. Um, I guess not, but they basically have what's available normally if it's a, if it's available in general. Like, it's there. I think. Um, and then there are independent systems and federation systems there, so I don't mind. Shame you can't get like bounties for killing imperials that you can straight in somewhere else. Against the federation or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be right back. Yeah, sure, do the same.